Hey everybody, I'm back. It's me, Ding Dang Nathan Crash, and we plan even more um Resident Evil Seto. I think that's zero. Uh so here's the game. Look, Billy standing all cool because that's how dope he is. Rebecca's just I don't know, she's been doing this for a while. Alright, let's get back to it. Uh we just made it to the mansion. Uh, what's going on with the game volume? I'm not hearing nothing. This is kind of weird. Give me one second. Oh, there we go. My bad. Alright. Whatever. Um, we'll leave the save thing, like, somewhere out in the open. Yeah, we'll leave it here. Well, one day I'll be really good at this game. And I'll do, like, no save runs and stuff like that. Is this locked? Nope. Alright. What the? Oh, I don't know. a bathroom I think this is a bathroom I sort of remember this yeah I do remember this the faucet is completely dry it's probably broken I think we fight a creepy monster in here huh Oh, uh, we'll pick up the gas tank, and then we'll combine it with this. Can't carry this right now. Are you serious? Let's leave this on the floor, then. It's the ammo, ain't it? Okay, use. That's so weird that they wouldn't just let me combine it right out the bat. Wait, what? This thing just doesn't empty, or what? No, we're gonna give this to. Yeah, let's give this to her. Oh, dope! And then we have four bullets left, so that's cool. Son of a bitch! Let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, so the door's locked. There's a keyhole anywhere. The top part is the image of a clock, so we need to. F Just go, lady. All right, yeah. Stupid. I'm trying to fight this guy. I already, I already kind of get his deal. I don't think we can really kill that dude. Uh, I probably should have gone to the bathroom first. I might scrap this whole episode just because I'm. I might. Oh, shit. Damn. Alright, so I have gas. Um. She's all hurt. Um, this is mine. Unless it's got 30, then we'll share. No. Does she have a lot of bullets? Yeah, she's got a ton, dude. She doesn't need... She doesn't need this shit. Okay. It's locked. The door's embossed with a fire motif, so we need the fire key. We can't just climb through here. Various cooking utensils lie... Line the back of the counter. This must be the kitchen. Yeah, I don't see why we can't just climb through there. That dude's gonna start some shit for sure. The sink's faucet is rusty. Even the, not even a single drop of water comes out. Are you serious though? This guy's not gonna start any static with us. 
He doesn't want any. The tree looks lonely and withered. It seems there was no one to take care of it. Oh, poor little tree. All right, I don't want any more of that that wobbly guy, dude. I don't want none of his none of his business, dude. All right, let's try the fire over here. What does it say? Staff only. Authorized staff only. Oh, little lady, it's not that. Oh. We can't pass this. We need to shut this off somehow. Okay, so we'll forget about that, I guess. Yeah, we can't mess with these these valves, so. Seems to be a note here, though. Nope, can't read it. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Come on. Got him. What the hell's that? Various material. Okay. Okay. So that's how they feel? We'll leave this. Um, she needs... She needs all types of... Oh, well, actually, we could just combine this. Let's just combine this, at, for, at the very least. Take the gas tank. Take this other gas tank. And now they're combined, it, right? Yeah. Damn, nine. That's crazy. Can we combine this with the shotgun shot? I wish. That's stupid, but that'd be sick. Leave. Take the shotgun. Hell yeah, boy. Um, what's this? Cannot carry this now. Um, she can, though. Come on, lady. Pick this up. Stack of chairs and other furniture. Nah. Black statue. Yeah. I kind of remember what this is for. Not really. I just know we have to place them. There's like an angel statue and we place them somewhere and it opens like a sweet ass door. All right, so we're gonna use the hunting gun so we can get rid of it. Think you're gonna hurt my homegirl like that? Nope. Night, night, boy. here well just help all right well i got no ammo to refill this thing with oh uh, she got she's pretty gucci okay so here's what we will do we will leave the hunting rifle here this is a pretty solid place to leave it it's easy to remember there's two herbs here so i don't know if we ever feel the need to we can come back for the hunting gun um it's a shotgun designed for hunting there's Mal can only be loaded with two shells at a time. Hunting gun's sick, though. I like the hunting gun a lot. It's meant for hunting. And I think it's good for at a range. 
But I don't think, I think after a while, uh, like, I don't know, most of the time you're in, in pretty close spaces, so I don't know, I don't really see us really hurting to use that gun. Okay, so we're back up top. Wait, this isn't upstairs, what the heck? The painting depicts a, ba a band of revolutionaries, okay. Painting depicts a multitude of people fighting in a war. Painting depicts a large mob of people brandishing weapons under a blue cl cloudless sky. And more shotgun ammo, baby. Oh my goodness. Damn, we got all this shotgun ammo, baby. Damn. Alright, so I think we're coming up pretty pretty. Pretty pretty, baby. Alright, um, what's going on in this room? Um, it's like little computers on the. F okay. Okay, security system is locked. Please insert system disk. System disk required to activate release system. So we can't do that. So we shouldn't even worry about this for now. Okay. Good to know. There's a save room in here. Where are we on the map? Uh, that's not the map. Where is the map? But... Alone. Roger. This way. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Um map. We are on the second floor. Okay. Okay. So far so good. I uh, can't really complain. We're making solid progress. The only complaint I can make is that I don't have any monster. Oh, Oh, this is what we do with that. Give me the, give me, give it to me, lady. Exchange stat, stat, statue. And then we'll put, let's see. There's something written on the base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. Okay, well then I will use this statue because it is a representation of evil, obviously, in this metaphor. All right. That's one less item we have to worry about. Okay. So we've been all through the bottom. It's the top floor. It's just the top floor now. All right. <clears throat> okay, no monsies in here. I uh, don't like the sound of that. Sounds like we're going to deal with some burbs. Picture of a lady. Uh, actually, that looks like Spencer. Or what? Not Spencer. I keep calling him Spencer. Marcus. There's a photo of a man in a doctor's gown. It's a painting of a horse galloping across the land. Very old fireplace. There's only a small trace of ash left. A, tr a big old tree just chilling in here. Alright, let's read this letter. Notice tall staff. This document is very old. Much of the leather, much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vaccine research and infectious agents teams will be held. Both meetings are security level five and will be held in the following locations. First floor west operations control room and the second floor uh, southeast meeting room. The entry code shall be 815. Thank you. Notice tall staff. That's actually a pretty good thing to keep in mind. What is this? Crank handle? Sure. Let's get out of here, though, because we're going to have birds coming. Knew it. You're not tricking nobody, you ding-dang bird. All right. So we got the crank handle. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the way that, that camera set up. Are we going to get birds in here, or... Uh, doors locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. The top part is engraved with a with an image of a clock. Okay, so this is another one of them clock ones. I haven't even seen a clock though. It's locked from the other side. Um, no, I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh shit! 
No, 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 no. Let's take a look at the map again. So these are all locked. Oh, no, wait. There's one that's not locked. Um. Okay. Alright, I see them right there. So it's in here to the left. There'll be a door we can go through. Yeah, to the left. So down this way? Oh, yeah, there is. I hate that this hovers in the screen like that. I wish we could hide the cursor. Alright. Lady, help me out. Come on. She's in danger. I gotta shoot. Alright. She uses the fucking herb now. Oh. That's fucking... That's fucked up. Uh... Well, I can't shoot without her, so... Alright. And then that's what she gets for not shooting that often. So now we're both really low, ridiculously low on ammo. I mean, I don't think it helps that I haven't... I've been busting off shots like that. A collection of female statues. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. All right. Good to know. Uh, can we go in here? Yes, we can. Hopefully there's an answer to our crank problem in here. Okay, it doesn't seem to be the answer to our crank problem, but there does seem to be a map, and that is useful in of itself. Okay, so we know that this door up ahead is locked. Um, there's something there. Uh, the next door in the hallway is locked as well. Okay, so the hunting gun is the only item on this floor that we have identified. Okay. There's that disc. We need that disc. Okay. She can pick this up. There should be ammo laying around too. So, someone's ever, that they used this computer recently doesn't be working anymore though. All right. Books on the shelf are compact, but they're all full of technical jargon. Our boy Billy here will pick up uh whatever this is. Microfilm A. Uh I don't know if this is what we need. But we'll pick it up anyway. This seems like it's useful to have. The candle's burnt out. Oh, first use for our... Don't need to use this now. Are you serious? Switch. Oh, we have costumes for a bit. Jacket. Oh, oh boy. Wild Force. Alpha 3, he gets a Cody costume. What the heck are these costumes? This jacket one is sick, though. We'll, we'll be OG. We'll be OG. Maybe when I when I beat it, maybe I'll I'll start streaming this game, and then maybe you guys can can I'll let maybe that's a thing I'll do. Maybe I'll let you guys pick whatever costume I wear. That sounds like a cool fun thing. All right, so uh, I guess I can't just light the candle. Probably used for database searches, but it's covered with dust now. All right. Let's see. The old man is holding a candle in his hand. This light will guide you to the greater truth. Wait, is it out of is it out of fluid? It appears to, it's useless now, bro. I try to put gas oh gasoline, dude. What the fuck is my problem? Kerosene, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, that does. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. 
All right, Rebecca will have to go up there alone, maybe. Because I don't think she'll be strong enough to lift me up there. She seems kind of wimpy. We'll give her the microfilm, too, while we're at it, actually. Yeah, let's see if we can get her to do it. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. I can do it in the menu? Oh, my God. One's control for a loop. There's a square shaped. Tell me this thing's square shaped, baby. Come on. Does it say square shape? No. The lift looks usable, but you'll need someone to get on it first. Use the lift. Doesn't look like Rebecca can use it. Well, all right. I should have guessed, you know. Rebecca is like a little wimpy lady. Uh... Can she hand us the, um, yeah, she can hand us, uh, she can hand, yeah, hand us that, all of it, yeah, and then, oh, this is gonna be rough, oh, alright, I feel like some shit's gonna happen and I'm gonna, I'm going to hate this. Oh, dude, I do remember this. I think some shit totally does happen. I hate you. Oh, my God. Am I dead? Stupid bugs. Oh my god, and I'm low on health. Alright, let's see. Oh my god, it's a solidly built clock. A minute hand is missing from the dial. Alright, so this is that clock puzzle that we're talking about. Um. Are you serious? I missed like nine times. I can't throw it out the ground. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. That bug didn't die. Oh my god, these hitboxes are so wide. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead for show. Dude, he's whooping my ass. Okay, for one, let's we'll combine this with that. Would have died. Straight up would have died. All right. No, gears must be part of the lodge. Like, doesn't seem to be anything special about them. Okay. All right. So we need the minute hand. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can we can get through this. That was really bad though. Those bugs fucked me up. Let's not piss off. Yeah, that that bird wanted my ass, dude. We're gonna get Billy over here and he's gonna beat up those ding dang birds. Dude, are you fucking joking me? Machine for winding the chain. Start the machine. There's no way for Rebecca to move it, so we need Billy. What's this? Door's now unlocked. Okay. Hopefully that's... Yeah, fuck that. All right. Oh, uh, we need to go find Billy. Fuck this place. I'm so spooked out now.
Uh, this way? Is this Billy? Billy! Billy! Mm. Oh, shit! Okay, okay, okay. We are close to Billy. Alright, we know how to get back to her. Okay. We know how to get back to our little lady. Um... I think there was monsters we ran past, though. What the fuck? Alright. Little goober. Alright, there she is. She should be right here. There we go. Alright. So we got Rebecca back. Okay. That shit sucked. She got really ducked up. And we're gonna go... Actually, let's go kill those roaches first. She gave me all the save stuff. Save stuff. She got me all that save stuff. Alright, we're gonna combine it with uh, the rest of our safe stuff. Oh, already did. Alright. Let's... We'll save for posterity's sake. We're not gonna call it yet. Um, I think we got a little bit left in this. We'll save this at 6. Because 6 is a scary number. This is a very scary number. A lot of this first run, maybe, I think that's the thing, I, I'm actually kind of digging this game more than I remembered. Like, I I don't remember enjoying the game as much as I am now. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe I just wasn't into, into playing as two characters for whatever reason. But uh, I'm pretty into it now, so I'm not complaining. Why is she not following me? I just realized she's not following me. Oh my god, this chick is the worst. Hello? Okay. All right, so we're gonna seize control of Billy because at least he'll be in front. How do I? That's not it. Let's regroup. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay. So I'm really getting unfamiliar with a lot of the stuff that's happening now. Let's fucking beat up these stupid bugs. Um. Oh, there's that other statue. The, no, I get what the picture the picture is about. I Thank you. grenade launcher why not oh actually one of us needs a heavy because yeah she can have the grenade launcher the grenade launcher is cool it's currently loaded with regular grenades good to know little lady she can pick up this And then, uh... Okay, it's locked. The door's embossed with a mo water motif. So we need water key for this. Okay. Wait, is there something on this clock? The grandfather clock appears to be broken. It stopped ticking altogether. We can't take the... Filled with art objects. It must be an art storehouse. Uh, we can't take the hand for that? Okay, there's nothing on here. Okay. Okay, so now we can open all the clock doors. I think that's what we do first before fighting Before whatever worrying about whatever is up there Oh no, we can't do the clock because we need we need the hand and we need to know what time to set it 
Okay, so... Billy, the booby, the booby statue. Oh, remove a statue. We need to find wings for her because it's not too okay. All right, all right. She needs angel wings, that's why. Okay, so where do we find those? Let's take a look at the map. So there's a red door here. Um, we've been everywhere we could on the first floor so far. Third floor. We've been just about everywhere we can go. Okay. So we have to do that, that crank. We have to do this crank thing over here. Crank that soldier boy. And hopefully we don't get our consoles uh, taken from us or, our, you know, or get... Isn't soldier boy going to jail or something? Isn't that like a thing? You're selling like a like a, chi a Chinese knockoff, uh, like plug and play console. And like he got hit with like a cease and desist. Isn't that like a thing that's happening to soldier boy? Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but... If that's the case, I mean, like, good going, dude. Like, you don't want to put your name on something that's blatantly, like, against... It's, like, it's sort of piracy, I think. Like, copyright infringement. What's down here? There's some kind of big machine here, but you have no idea what it's used for. Uh, I don't like the looks of this. It's a cage for raising animals. The cage is too heavy to lift. I don't know what that is, but it looks like we need it. Okay. And then... Alright. Machine is finished winding the chain. Start the machine. Alright. Oh, Billy, you're so strong, boy. I'll go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now he knows the deal. Okay. All right, and then we switch, and then she goes. All right. Ah, oh, god damn it! I'm s terrible. Can we skip? Yeah, there we go. Quick turn. Okay. Let's figure out what this thing is. Do I even have inventory space to pick this up? Just barely. So she's going to get trapped in the cage. Probably. Is my guess. Um, maybe. Maybe we'll have her. Oh, what the fuck? Why did why the game hop out of. That was weird. The game, like, minimized itself on me. Alright, this is weird. Oh. Uh, whoa, it did it again. Yo, game. What's your deal? Yo, bro, chill out. Can't be having that shit happen while we play. That'll be bad news. All right, hopefully, hopefully I don't regret this decision. Oh, that is the wings, huh? Facility key. And then something's gonna attack Billy. 
He's gonna drop the cage. Okay, all right. Whoa, lady. Hey, give me back that lady, dude. Damn, bro, you're hurting the shit out of me. Dang, this dude's effing me up. Damn, this dude beating my ass. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Dang, I got jacked up by this. She died? He oh my god. Oh my god, I got bodied. Are you serious? <sighs> Did I at least save after I got I got her back? Zero. Or Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, I did. Okay. You know what? Look. Let's take a second here, alright? That wasn't a good look. And I'm really upset about that. <sighs> I'm gonna regroup. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. I feel pretty bad about that. Um, I'll do better on the next one. I was getting a phone call, and it, I'm not. That doesn't excuse getting hit that much, but um, I'll do better on the next episode. I'll get. I'll get it down. I'll get it down probably on the first shot, first two shots. I'll get it done. I'm sorry. Like, that's embarrassing. Like, uh, that that didn't even seem hard. And I, I got pretty ducked up, so I'm, I'm pretty upset about that. Um, whew, what is there to say about that? Um, I don't know. If you like the video, be sure to like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe. If you think, if you have any tips for that encounter, go ahead and help me out. Because it's just like, I was trying to aim for his face to shoot him so he'd like drop her and stuff. But like, he like... He, it's like you aim you aim just like for the middle of them. It's weird. Like there's no real I don't know. I think I might have to try to manually aim, but it's tough because he even though he moves kind of slow, it's it's tough to track your shot. But I don't know. I'll get I'll try something a little bit different that next time. Um, feel free to talk shit about me for dying to that guy because he really didn't seem hard. Um, he didn't seem hard at all actually. So I was just like. How did I die to that? Because it's like, I guess it's just, I don't know his, tra I didn't know his trajectory. And like, I guess I like, I misread his hitbox quite a few times. Because I, I thought I'd be like, in a good, I was like in a decent enough place where he wouldn't be able to like, kind of like, hit me with his legs. But his legs kind of go out pretty far. So he was, he was nipping me quite a bit. There was times he was like, hitting me like twice in a row. And I was like, oh, this is bad. Um, but yeah, um. I don't know, subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, if you're if you stuck around this long, odds are, you know, odds are you liked what you were watching because you've been watching for, like, damn near 40 minutes. Um, And if you don't like what you're seeing, then, I mean, subscribe anyway because, I mean, you watch this long anyway, so it's like, you know, we you can hate me every day. You can hate what I do all the time. You know? mutually beneficial for both of us you get to you get to hate me and i get someone to watch me so 
Um, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, be sure to follow me on Twitch at twitch uh, twitch.tv slash Nathan underscore crash underscore crash. And um, I don't know. I'll, I'll stream. I'll try to stream this month a little bit more than I have been. I'll, I'll try to get like at least two or three in a week. Um, starting next week, I'll try. I'll try to get two two a week. Um, if I were gonna say when, it'd probably be. Tuesday mornings at like three in the morning, <laughs> three, four, maybe five in the morning, and then um, maybe maybe Fridays or Saturdays. Who knows? Maybe Saturdays and Sundays would be a good good time to do it. Um, but I don't really get the weekends off that that often. So the point is, we'll work it out. I, I think Sunday I'll always try. I'll try to stream on Sunday at least for a little bit. So Sunday, follow me there. Uh, I mean, if you're followed, you get notified when I go online anyway. So you'll be notified when I start streaming. Uh, I think Sunday will be a safe bet. We'll try. We'll be trying to like. We'll try to stream every Sunday. Um. Do we get bodied? I think I say this every time. It comes out Monday, so real soon. Um, I don't think there'll be an episode for Sunday. Uh, this Sunday. Um. Uh, because I hit my quota three and um three for the week even though it doesn't fall on the days it normally does um i got three this week um i'm gonna take a little time to because uh, we're we're trying to work on a format for uh the we get bodies that we feel works uh we've been doing them uh bi-weekly but sometimes it's hard to like scheduling issues come and fall like you know fall in place and so it gets tough um Chris is actually going on a business a business trip relatively soon. So that's gonna affect our ability to do we get bodied. So we might we might do something a little special for right before he does he goes out and does all that. Um so just keep keep your ears peeled. Uh, if you don't know who Chris is, Chris is uh is my is one of my best friends. Uh he is like my best friend. Um and we play uh we play games together. He's actually on this channel on my uh, We Get Bodied series. Uh, it's it's our, like my, uh, it's like a guest shot. Like I, but it's me and Chris. It's like a, a me and Chris play. Like, you know, as opposed to a Nathan Crash gets bodied, it's a We Get Bodied, you know? Like, it's just me and the boy. So, you know, it's a really, it's a different format too. It just works differently. The dynamic is a little different. Um, Lately, I haven't been too talkative, all, like by myself. It's weird. I feel like I've been I've been really quiet these last couple of days. Like I've just had like a lot on my mind. Um, we'll, and we'll probably talk about a lot of that stuff coming soon. Um, what else is there? Um, I'm trying not to talk your guys' ears off, but I'm trying to remember because there is stuff I was like, oh, there's something I needed to bring up. So I brought up Twitch, brought up the We Get Bodied, I brought up the business trip. Um, what else is there? There is Twitch, but oh, share the channel with your friends. Uh, share it with anybody, honestly. Just like I don't know, run around and tell people how dope I am. I mean, if you think I'm dope, if you think I suck, then I mean, well, fuck you too. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know, if you if you I mean odds are if you stayed around this long you either really like me or you don't know how to spend your time and um either way I need more people like you you know one way or the other uh so you know just subscribe tell your friends to subscribe and get their friends to subscribe to me you know like just get everyone to subscribe to me so I can be rich and I can do this all the time instead of working my soul crushing job every day you know who knows. Who knows where 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 the where my life may take me, but I'm I don't know I'm looking I'm looking forward to whether I like I'm making no money doing this like and I'm still doing it. I'm try, I try to do it every day um I love doing this uh, I've been wanting to do this since since I was like in high school um actually even a little bit before that I I just never got around to it and when I did have the ability to do so my computer took a shit on me um. And I only recently got a new computer, and, uh, you know, I kind of sat on it for a little bit, but then I kind of said, fuck it, we're going to do this thing, we're going to have fun doing it, and 
who cares what people think if you don't like my videos it's fine like i can get why um you know i, I get i'm not a high a high quality you know i don't do a lot of editing shit i'm not even that funny right now i haven't been funny for a little while i haven't been feeling in the funny mood i haven't been feeling quippy you know um this is just the thing i like doing um and if you like it i mean that's dope i'm glad you like it and hopefully we can find more people like you who like it and like you know if you don't like it i mean it's valid i can see why you don't like it but um you know if you're gonna stick around and just hate what you're watching i mean one thank you because you're you're bumping my my analytics up and then you're you know you're helping create more traffic by simply being here i think the more views a video gets the easier it is for the channel to get exposed um you know just like honestly just if you don't like my shit i mean it's fine if even if this is the the last video you ever watch i mean at least you gave my sh my stuff a, like a solid try you know yeah you know maybe check in in like a year a year or like six months maybe i'll be better at this this commentary thing i'm not very good at it like when i just wake up and most of the time i'm doing this either when i just woke up or or like or like after like a long day at work and I know that's not a good excuse for being boring and unengaging, but sometimes I just feel like being boring and unengaging. Like, I don't think I have to be firing off, like, constant quips. Like, I just like to... I'm just trying to enjoy the game, honestly. Like, I haven't played... I haven't beat Resident Evil. It's not a game, like, like super f familiar with, so I'm not trying to be funny anymore. I'm honestly mostly just trying to... One, uh, the reason why I'm really happy to play is because I've never beat it. Um, or at least if I have beat it, I don't remember. Because, like... Let's, I guess we'll go over this shit real quick. So, here, let me open up this screen so it's not at least a static screen the whole time. Um, when I... So, I, I'm not sure if I actually beat this game or not because... And I don't think I have beat this game. Um, the only reason I think I might have is because I do know... I do know the, 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 the opera guy turns into a giant monster. And then you shoot him on, a, like, an elevator. Like, Billy shoots him with, like, a magnum, and he explodes or something. And, like, I don't know if I remember that because that's the actual ending to this game or because because I beat, I beat like, uh, the Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. Because I think it's either Umbrella or Chronicles or, like, Dark Side Chronicles that covers the, the events of Zero. You get to play, like, a real shooter version. And I'm not sure if I remember the ending from because I played that you know and so like that's why i'm not sure if i've actually beat this game like there's things that come to me like the bathroom thing where i walked into that bathroom and i was like oh this is gonna be a bathroom right like i remember little things like i'm like oh yeah i kind of remember this like i remember playing like because i did i did give the game a solid try before i like gave up on it and i don't even remember no you know what i do remember why i gave up on this game um when i when i had first got this game um so when i was a kid uh, I guess I'll, I'll go into this real quick, because I, I guess I have been teasing it. Maybe I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about it on the next episode. I know I've been talking about this, uh, or mentioning, like, talking about this. So, when I first got my GameCube, it was around my birthday, um, and my mom got me, uh, because I was really, I really wanted Resident Evil 4, because my fifth grade teacher at the time, I think it was fifth, fifth or sixth grade, I think it was sixth grade actually. My sixth grade teacher was like, "Hey, bro. Um, Resident Evil Four is dope, and I wanted it. I was like, oh shit.' And like, my mom was like, "Oh, I'm not sure he, he can play this shit." And like, you know, because like it's weird because I was allowed to play plenty of like Raiden M games, like, but like, so when I was a kid, all right, I guess I have to preface this with an even further, uh, like, um. I'm hearing like weird music in the background. Um, I'm just gonna take another. I'm just gonna go off on another tangent. Um, so when I was when I the first the first system that I owned that wasn't like, out like wasn't the Super Nintendo was a, uh, was um was a PlayStation One. They bought it for my like I don't know like fucking I forget what birthday it was for, but they bought it for me, and like. My parents got me, like, Crash and, like, a bunch... A gang of, like, fucking games. Like, Spyro and all... You know, pretty much, like, the big games everybody talks about. Um, uh, 
their first game because they used to they bought themselves games uh they got tomb raider and then they also got resident evil i was allowed to play tomb raider um i was never allowed to play resident evil when i was a kid my parents would be like no you can't play this shit like and i would i would like sneak up on them playing it every now and then and watch them play and i remember i'd get so scared because it'd be like for me it was like oh man this is so scary um and i'm talking like og og resident evil you know um they were playing it and i was like oh man this is spoopy as hell and uh, I didn't get to play it for, like, years. It wasn't until, like, two years later that, like, m one of my uncles had, like, the Resident Evil director's cut on PS1. And, like, we spent the night. He spent the night. And we were, like, oh, we're going to play this shit. And, um, uh, I, no, he actually, he didn't spend the night. He he let me borrow it. And I was, I was spending the night at my cousin's. Um, and I was trying to play it. And everyone was asleep. Um. And I remember I only got to, like, the first zombie, and I got really scared, and I turned the game off, and I just didn't want to play for a while, you know? I didn't want to play that game for a while. So I never beat Director's Cut. Um, maybe we'll, that's the thing I'll do one day. Um, but I was obsessed with Resident Evil from that point forward. I was like, man, this this series is cool as hell. I played, like, Code Veronica, and, like, you know. I played 2 and 3, never beat 2 or 3, um, because... In those days, so all right, and this is gonna kind of segue into into the whole the whole thing I have to talk about my GameCube sitch situation. Um, I guess my family didn't believe in memory cards or something, because when I had on on PlayStation One, I, we didn't have a memory card. Um, so for like a really long time, like we didn't have a memory card. So. Uh, I never got to beat Resident Evil because I never had a memory card. Uh, that and I got because you know if I was a dumb kid and like if if I did something dumb and died, I'd have, I'd be reset like really far back. And after a while, I was just like, man, this is too scary. And then like I have to keep starting over. Like I can't do this. You know, I'm gonna play Crash Bandicoot instead. I rather I'd rather try to beat Crash Crash Bandicoot. You know. And um, I mean, one day I did beat Crash Bandicoot. It was pretty cool. You know, I had to leave the the playstation on for like four days straight which was kind of fucked up well yeah that was dope um and then there was it was the same thing with the gamecube so or yeah it was the same thing with the gamecube so i i didn't like because resident evil 2 and 3 we had we had them both um and we had them both on on playstation Again, no memory card, so there was nothing really I could... There, I was about to try to beat that. Because the first one scarred me. Then the second one had even more zombies. And then the third one had a bigger, scarier mo zombie. And, like... And then, like, the, uh, when I was a kid, the scene in Nemesis where, like, uh, Nemesis kills Brad fucked me up as a kid. Like, it super fucked me up. Because I was like, dude, that's so scary. Like, that dude's... Like, and then he says stars after... Oh, man, that shit fucked me up. So I was like, nah, dude, I'm not playing this game. This game's scary as fuck. And, uh... But, like, I, I did play it. I just didn't beat it because I couldn't. Because I suck. I, I couldn't do a, a zero death run as a kid because I was like, oh, no, I don't, I'm too scared. Uh, Resident Evil 4 looked a lot less scary. I was a little bit older. I was I gave a little bit sh a little bit less of a shit about getting scared. So I was like, you know, I'm going to play this shit. Um, so they got me... Um, they got me, like, the collector... The collection. It was like a... It had came with all the... It came with zero... It didn't come with all of them. It didn't come with two and three, but it came with zero one, uh, or remake and uh, four. So pretty much all the games at the time, except for one and two, um, because I I'm not sure if at the time they had ported uh two and three yet. I know they're on GameCube, but I don't know if they had ported them at the time. It was like a bundle though. It literally came in like a cool ass box that had like El Gigante and fucking and like a tyrant on it or something. It was cool. It was a really sick box. And it was it was like some sort of uh, all I remember was like the coolest Christmas or birthday present I ever got, and I was like, "Oh, dude, this is sick!" So I gave Zero a try. Zero, I tried to play quite a bit for a while, but it's the same thing. They bought me a fucking GameCube and no memory card, so you know, it wasn't it wasn't for like two months that they didn't buy me a memory card, or like I bought myself a memory card because I just started doing like like chores and stuff and washing cars to get money so I could afford like a, a decent memory card. And so I was over here busting my ass off. And while I was doing this, I was playing Resident Evil Zero. I was playing it like, I remember I would play it like pretty consistently. 
I get like slightly farther die or something like I do something dumb or like you know, and I was just like, man, you know, because you get it's Resident Evil Zero to me is like Borderlands Two. Whereas I hate Borderlands 2 because I don't want to play like the first like be- I don't want to play the beginning part of Borderlands 2 because for me it's so slow and boring. Like Resident Evil Zero is sort of that was sort of that way for like the longest time because all I ever played the Resident Evil Zero was like the beginning, like the beginning portion of of it because you know I'd get so far and die and have to start over. Um, you know, and after a while you get tired of doing that. Especially when you get a memory card, and I'm, I was like, okay, you know, I'm just gonna play remake, and I, for whatever reason, I ended up liking remake way better than I liked zero. Um, it was probably because I wasn't burnt out on it, um, and it's probably because you know it's a little. I don't know. I I feel like I feel like remake is still the better game. Uh, I think zero. I'm playing it right now. I'm like, you know, maybe zero's not. Not so far behind remake as i once thought it was because i'm I'm playing them actually having like a pretty solid time there's just some weird story shit that fucks with me like the opera thing the opera guy thing i always thought that was stupid even as a kid i was like man this is like this is dumb like this is dumb this is stupid as hell like uh nemesis didn't sing at you because that's that shit's not scary like that's not scary to me i don't think that's like a weird i think like a cultural difference you know and like I think that's the big thing is like uh Resident Evil for the longest time even though it was a hokey B movie at least tried to be like oh look it's grounded you know up until like Code Veronica and I think I think the fact that this came out like cuz they were working on this and Code Veronica around the same th- time I think Code Veronica ended up coming out first and uh I think that's that wasn't intentional I think Zero was supposed to come out and then Code Veronica um, but, you know, Code Veronica has its own, has its own weird stuff, like, it has a lot of words, actually, a lot of the weird stuff in Resident Evil Pass 3, I feel like is attributed to, to a lot of the stuff that happens in Code Veronica, like, Wesker being, having superpowers, and, and, uh, and, um, and just, like, the weird anime enemies that kind of show up, like, like um like the last boss i think her ashley ashford is that her name she's like a really weird anime boss at the end like she's like she it's just weird because like before it was like mutated dog mutated giant mutated crab giant shark giant lizard guy it's a giant snake it's a giant spider like you know that was sort of the trend it was like it was all like pretty sciencey like you know and it's like and then we put it on humans, and humans turned into zombos. Except for this one girl, she turned into a giant anime butterfly. It's like, that's weird as hell. And, like, you know, I was just like, it never really leaned that in that direction. Like, you know, and that's why I like Remake. Because even Remake, with the newly added boss, they added, like, Lisa Trevor and stuff. And, like, she's the scariest fucking thing. Because she's not some animo-ass, like like boss she's like this creepy fucking amalgam of a thing like it's it's she's a thing and it's scary because you're just like this is disgusting she's not like some flying naked lady who drops poison on you and it's like you know it's just not weird it's just like it's not this weird tonal shift and i feel like that's why why zero feels so weird because zero is set before one and it has this weird animu stuff because like he's like fucking homeboy is wearing He's wearing, like, a Final Fantasy robe, and he's just, like, sitting there fucking singing. And, like, that's not scary. Like, yeah, he sings and it makes bugs move. Like, that's just weird. I don't know. I guess I'm done complaining about that. That's. But the point is, is, like, uh, you know, there was just weird stuff that I was just like, man, this this is really putting me off. So I just didn't, I just didn't deal with it. I just didn't, I didn't deal with Zero, and I kind of wrote off Zero for, like, the longest time, and I'm kind of glad that I'm coming back and giving this a shot, because it's at least, it's competent. It's, you know, the, the, the rules are kind of weird. It's a little wonky, because you can't bait zombies the way you do in Remake. So, I don't know, there's, there's just, like, a lot of things to get used to, because it... <sighs> Because it's Resident Evil, but it's also it's also something else entirely. Like it feels comp- like it feels like it looks like a Resident Evil game. It sort of plays like one. It doesn't always feel like a Resident Evil game, which is weird. Um. So.
So, I mean, we'll talk about this more and more as we go through the game. I'll keep giving my thoughts. But that's going to do it for this one. I'm done talking. You guys, you're off. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my shit, please. Um, follow me on Twitch. I really appreciate it. I'm going to update my about section to have my, um, my Twitter, uh, for the gaming channel for, for this channel. I'll have a, I'll have a Twitter put like ready for you guys. So you guys, if you want to talk to me, you, you can find me on my Twitter that I'll start doing that uh, on the top left. I'll have, uh, the, are we get bodied and on the right, we'll have RIP, uh, the evil within, I guess. That's a series I'd like to plug. Maybe Aoni. Maybe I'll do Aoni instead because at least it's finished. Um, but that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Sorry for talking, you guys. Is ear off, but have yourself a wonderful day and try not to get bodied. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.